Hi everyone! In today's art class, we're going to draw and learn about puffer fish! If you're new to my channel, my name's Chris Fitz and this is my super simple art class for kids. Make sure you subscribe for a new art class each week. Let's get started! Go get your supplies. You're going to need a black marker or a pen, a piece of paper, and some colors. And if you need a little bit of extra help, there is a free tracing guide available on my website. Click the link below to download. Alright, let's draw! First, let's draw a circle shape in the middle of your page. This will be the body. From the back, draw two lines sticking out and close it up. This is the tail and you can add a few lines inside. Now let's draw the eyes. Move towards the front of the body. You're going to draw a small circle and then a little half circle right next to it. This puffer fish swallowed a bunch of water, so we're drawing it all puffed up. Now you're going to add a little bowed line under the eye and a half U right next to it to make it look like the cheeks are puffy. Then to finish, just draw two little ovals under the eyes for the lips. Did you know that puffer fish are the most poisonous fish in the sea? They have enough venom in their spikes and on their skin to kill 30 people. Go ahead and draw two dots for the eyes. You can put them wherever you want. Now take your marker and we're going to draw three more fins. One in the middle, one at the top, and one at the bottom. Now it wouldn't be a puffer fish without the spikes. Since this puffer fish swallowed a bunch of water, I'm going to put them all over. But again, you put them wherever you want. Now let's add a few lines to show movement. some bubbles. Did you know that puffer fish actually have a beak? And inside that beak they have four teeth. And those teeth are used to crush hard things like mussels. They're also omnivores so they eat plants and meat. Give yourself a pat on the back, you did it! Now it's time to color. Did you know that pufferfish puff up by actually sucking in a bunch of water? Did you know puffer fish are like a master of disguise? Kind of like our friends, the seahorse. Change their colors to match their environment so that they can hide from predators. And they can also use their eyes independently of each other so they can look for predators and prey at the same time.
Did you know that some sharks can eat puffer fish? After this, go ahead and watch the art lesson on great white sharks. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this week's art class, make sure you check out the last episode here. And I need your help. I need to come up with a name for the character we drew today. Head on over to Instagram, follow me, let me know your name ideas, upload a picture of your artwork, tag Fitz Art Clips for a chance to be featured artist every Friday, and let me know if there's something that you want to draw and learn more about. I cannot wait to see what you create. I'll see you next time.